a nice place there. Boys, you better get out and help make camp. Yeah, no, I just let me help you down. Here. Oh. I'm sorry, Billy. I didn't know that thing hurt. That don't hurt. That's a birthmark, silly. You twisted my wrist. Get down, boys. There they are. Matter. Won't that work? Oh. There. do any good. He'd never show me or mine any mercy. What, what do you mean? Why, he's the coolest bandit in the Southwest. He hates me like he hates no one else. Do, do you mean? Yes, Martha. It's the cat and his gang. Boys, they're about done for. Let's close in. Get on your horse.
are just seeing Johnny Hume attempting to ride dynamite. The one and only outlaw of the range that has never before been bested by man. From Cheyenne to Fort Worth, he has known as the meanest, ruggedest critter that ever had saddle thrown across his back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Hill will give you a sample of real Texas horsemanship. Johnny makes the rest of us look, on, look, look like a on, bunch on. of cool boys. He's a riding us, shooting us in front of a gaga, gaga, gaga. Oh, he's nothing but a show cowboy. He wouldn't be worth his bean fodder right in the rain. And his trigger finger gets buck fever when there's any shooting in it. No, 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 let me tell you something. I can't wait that long. Tonight, awards will be made to all winning contestants at the Red Front Saloon. It gives me great pleasure to award the silver-mounted, two-ply, hand-tailored, bridling bit to the champion of champions, Johnny Hume. Much obliged. Now, fellas, this concludes the awards for this evening, so let's give our esteemed fellow citizen a big hand. Yay! All right, fellas, the drinks are on me. Hey, you fellas are in on this, too. Thanks. We've all sworn off. Well, I wasn't trying to tempt you. Just wanted you to know that you were welcome. Well, what do you have, Johnny? Guess I'll stick to sarsaparilla. I reckon you can't stomach a man's drink. I haven't found out yet what a man's drink is. There's scotch and soda. Me too, too, too. Only no sauce, 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 sauce. He wants his scotch without soda. Yes. Just a thanks. <laughs> What do you say, fellas? Let's drink to the champion tail twister of the Southwest. Let's have at it. I thought you were going to say champion four-flusher. Such as wearing notches on the hand with a gun when you never even killed a snake. That ain't ethical in these parts. That gun belonged to my father. <laughs> That's all the more reason you got no business carrying it. Why, if there was anybody more gun-shy than you, I mean, when guns are needed, it was... Hey, there. wait a minute. You, you can't talk to my pal like that. Take him up, buddy. Keep your hands high. No monkey business. Get the horses, Tex. The first one who reaches for his gun goes down. No one's gonna get hurt, man. All we want is a cash drawer. Turn your face in the bar and keep your hands in the air. Drag out your cash drawer, bartender, and shove it across there. And be careful, no monkey business. Come on, hurry up with that door. Won't pull out. Well, hand out the cash then. All right, fellas, get the bartender to the doctor. It's all right now, they're gone. Nobody's gonna hurt Mama's little champion now. 
Do you mean to say you were there all the time and didn't shoot? Sure. He's death on bottles, but when it comes to real gun play, he's yellow. Aren't you forgetting your prizes, champion? Just, just gone won't get you nowhere. So get me somewhere else. After what happened tonight, I, I can't face anybody here again. Oh, sissy Chuck, you, you don't want to take it like that. They're right, Oscar. I'm just gun shy when guns are needed. I've been thinking maybe I'd get over it, but I never will. Just when I begin to get the nerve to do something, a picture of what happened on that terrible night when I was a kid pops up before me. Well, I guess most people would call it going yellow. Oh, now, Johnny, little listen. It's, it's no use. Goodbye, Oscar. You've been a darn fine pal, and I'll never forget you. Johnny, listen. I got him, Max. So thanks. You don't mean to tell me you came all the way out here just to get a match? Well, 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 uh, well I'm j j j just about out of t t t t tobacco, too. So thanks. I'll p p p pay you back when we get to the, n the next t t t town. I didn't ask anybody to trail along with me. Well, I gotta have somebody to tell the bartender not to put any soda in my skirt. Dodge.
Badly? Nothing much. Just a little suckered out from losing blood. I reckon Dave there is some done for. Well, what, well, what, well, what can I do? Just, just, just do. Help me get the driver in, inside. This is shot up soon. Can I help some? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You might, might, might help me get him in the co 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 coach. the bleeding till we get to town. You were wonderful. If you hadn't come along when you did, we'd all been killed. It, 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 it wasn't me, little lady. It was my p p p p pal out there on the d d d d d d driver's seat. Hey, Dave. Johnny. I think you'd better do the driving, Oscar. Oh, for sure. sure. Could you hand me that blanket, please? Is there anything I can do? I don't think there's anything we can do until we reach a doctor. And anyhow, you've done enough already, Mr. Uh, they call me Johnny Hume, Miss... Uh, My name's Ethel Carlson. I'm right pleased to meet you. They must have outnumbered you six to one. I've never seen anything so courageous. Yes. I... When we get back to Lawless, they'll probably want to make you marshal. Marshal? Let's get going, Oscar.
What happened? An attempted holdup. The driver's been shot up some. If you'll take care of him right away, it'll be all right. Ethel, you all right? Yes, I'm all right, Father. Oh. Thanks to Mr. Hume. If it hadn't been for him, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hume. Why, I didn't do anything. I... There's the express box, Mr. Carson. Oh. I'll be home, Ethel, as soon as I can take care of this stuff. Hope we'll be seeing a lot of you, Mr. Hume. Thanks. He's the fightin' cuss I ever seen. Every time his bean shooter pops, somebody drops. <laughs> well, he can lick his weight in a while, kick, 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 ass, any day, 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 day. And uh, Oscar, take care of our horses. All of the good, right. Well, good night, Mr. Hume. And thanks. Oh, may I help you with the bag? Where are we going, Mr. Hume? Well, I'm going to take you home. Well, I think we better turn back. We passed my house a half hour ago. <laughs> Gee, that's funny. Well, I reckon I'd better let you do the steering from now on. You know, you're a funny person. Well, what do you mean? Well, you route up a gang of outlaws almost single-handed, and then you attempt to deny it. Well, that's because my pal Oscar did most of the shooting. <laughs> Oscar said you did it. I wish one of you would make up your mind. Good. The way to a man's heart. <laughs> this kind of cooking would have a man's heart hogtied and branded at first taste. Yep. If I was taking out in these parts, I'd be proposing permanent partnership with the cook. <laughs> <laughs> Just where are you heading for? Oh, I don't know. Haven't made up my mind yet. Just a maverick, I guess. I imagine Lawless would make you right welcome. Anyone that can use a gun as handy as you can on the side of law and order. Do you use sugar in your coffee? Yes. Drinks are on me. Scotch and soda for everybody. No, 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 so, 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 so. Well then, take some soda. Give him some soda, Bart. But I don't want any soda. Say, do you always stutter? No, no, only when I talk. Yo, I'd like to see you out here a minute. No, leave your drink there. I reckon you've had enough, Joe. I know when I've had enough. It ain't that. I promised the Wells Fargo man I'd keep you sober if he'd let you keep your job. I'll go home, Joe. Well, here's to, uh... What'd you say your friend's name was? It's Johnny Hume, the fightin' Hombre in Arizona. You fellas ever hear of the Billy the Kid? Sure. He's the toughest gunslinger that I ever drawn. Uh, th th that's what you think. The reason that B B B Billy the Kid moved to Arizona was because he heard that J Johnny Humes was moving to, to, to Texas. Is that on the level? Say, he must be a terror with a six shooter. Uh, th th that ain't all. But the Black Bart surrendered the m minute that J Johnny set foot in California. Well, goodbye, Miss Carson. Meeting you has been very pleasant. Well, I'll see you again. Maybe someday. But right now, I'm thinking on pulling out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Must you be going so soon? Yep. My partner and I are thinking on pulling out. Well, that's funny. Your partner just said you were liable to stay in Lawless. Lawless would be right glad to keep you. I appreciate him feeling that way about me. I guess my partner got our plans mixed up. 
We are heading up into Utah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, I want to thank you for saving my daughter's life. And the express box. Well, I didn't do anything much. Just cleaned up the job after Marshall had almost finished it. Where'd you get that gun? That belonged to my father. Your father? You say your name was Hume? Oh, yes. I hope you like it over in Utah. It's a good place for you to be going. Dad, why did you act that way? Did you see those Nazis on his gun? Oh, yes. One of them was put there because his father killed my brother. You mean murdered him? Well, that's what it amounted to. He took advantage of the fact he was a law officer. But it was murder just the same. I know Bob was a reckless kid when he was drinking. Liable to shoot up the place some. But he wasn't hitting anybody. He plugged them just the same. And it is with, 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 with the greatest p -p -p pleasure that I, on behalf of my, my p -p pal and p -p fellow citizen, Johnny Hume, accept the great honor that you have p -p 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 paid him. And for furthermore, the same as he ran Jesse James out of Kansas, he run every outlaw out of Arizona. And for further. Congratulations, m -m -m Marshal. Come on, boys, let's get three cheers for the new Marshal of Lawless. Hooray! 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 Hey, wait a minute. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake at all. In this room, you see most of the citizens in the fair city of Lawless. By unanimous vote, they have decided to ask the United States government to make you the new Marshal of Lawless. Hooray! Hooray! This belonged today, but it'll give you the authority you need until the government can issue a new one. Wait a minute. I'm not qualified to be marshal. What do you <laughs> mean? That's, <laughs> a good one. That's a good one. A man good enough to scare Billy the Kid and not qualified to be marshal of lawless? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that. How about the time you ran all the rustlers out of Oklahoma? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, please. That stuttering horn toad that calls himself my pal is the biggest liar in six states. If he ever told the truth just once, his tongue would stop tying up. Was the stage driver lying too when he said you come down this afternoon shooting like nobody's business? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Suppose you fellas give me a chance to think this over. I'll let you know the first thing in the morning. Well, that's it. Well, right. All right. We'll be looking for you in the morning. See you in the morning. What is all this talk about Billy the Kid and the Russells of Oklahoma? Why, did you tell I have the least in the notion? Well, I have. You lied him into trying to make me marshal. And knowing all the time I have no business within a shooting job. Oh, but Johnny, you're all right now. Maybe I am. But likely it's not the next time I do just as I did in Red Front. Oh, Bob, I bet you wouldn't. Well, anyway, I can't trust myself. We've got to saddle up and get out of here. W -w when? Right now. Oh, but Johnny, I'm all tuckered out. I need some sleep. Thanks. All right. We'll rest for a couple of hours, but we've got to get out of here before morning.
it was the cat who killed my family. What are you going to have to do? Well, gentlemen, if you still want me, Lawless has a new marshal. Line up at the bar, boys. The drinks are on the house in honor of our new marshal. Well, I reckon the cat and his gang from now on will have their hands full. Yeah. Who is this cat? What does he look like? Nobody knows. As soon as we think one cat is done for, there's another to take his place. All we know, he's a cruel, ruthless killer. I only hope that someday we'll meet. He's the darndest marshal I ever knew, going out and taking these bad men with his bare hands. Looks good for a blue one. He claims there's only room enough on his dad's gun for one more knot, and he saved that for somebody special. I call it darn foolishness. Ever since I can remember, the shootingest gun toters in the government services tried to beat the cat. They're all under the ground today. Take it, two blues. But no cat has put this boy there yet. This time, if I was making a bet, it'd be on the marshal. Well, maybe so, and maybe not. He's come out all right so far. But I'm not sure the cat has started to claw in earnest. Well, I guess I can afford to look at another card. Did you tell the boss? Sure. So the new marshal is saving room on his gun for a notch for somebody special. That's what they claim down Lawless Cat. Maybe they mean you. Well, that suits me fine. Only he's putting too many of you babies in his nursery. A fine bunch of gunslingers you are. Why don't you trade that in for a pea shooter? Maybe it wouldn't be so dangerous to play with. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Well, that's not good enough. I want him put out of the way. And I'm not particular who does it. I'm figuring on plugging him pronto. Only I can't do it right out in the open. If I do something to get the spyglass on me, how am I going to find out about the next shipment of ore? Yeah, that's right. Sure. Ain't that why my, me and Dick are heading into town tomorrow to feed old Carson some booze? He's right, boss. We can't keep him thinking we're a couple of desert rats if we start throwing lead at the marshal. But maybe after we get old Carson drunk enough to spill us what we want, we'll see a chance to do some shooting. And when we do, why... Well, boys, I guess I've had enough. Oh, come on, be sociable. Tex and I don't get to town very often for have a blowout. And you're good company. <laughs> Bottoms up. Easy with that stuff. Well, it's good. That's good. <laughs> I wish your father wasn't so unfriendly. Is he? Well, you know he is. He's all but forbidden me to see you again. Oh, he'll get over that. But it would help if you give up your job as marshal. Well, look out, the little dick of scratches. <laughs> What's the matter with me being marshal? Oh, Father figures you're just a hired gunman in pay of the government. Somebody's got to keep law and order. Yes, I suppose so. But I wish it weren't you. I hate to see you become a killer. Shooting men just because the law says it's all right? Does it make so much difference to you what I do? Yes. I'll give it up. Just as soon as I've finished one little job. Must you wait to finish it? I'd lose my self-respect if I didn't. You wouldn't ask me to do that, would you? No. I knew you wouldn't. And I don't aim to do any killing. I don't have to either. We're almost forgetting our little family. <laughs> Cute little Dickens. I think he likes you best. I always could get along well with Cat. You know, they say dumb animals are the best judge of human nature. I don't know about that. <laughs> when you're through, I mean with that job you spoke of, 
Are you going back to Utah, then? Why, I've been figuring on putting it to a vote. Oh, you won't have to do that. If you're leaving it up to Lawless, they'll want you to stay. Oh, I don't mean they. There's only one vote I care about. Will it be yes or no? <laughs> Carson, I don't think you know what you're talking about. There's nobody taking any gold out of these diggings anymore. You don't know what I'm talking about, eh? I know where there's lots of gold. Make your eyes pop out. Where? Express office. Bringing it in tomorrow from El Conde mine. You boys got to keep that to yourself. Nobody's supposed to know it but me. How about the marshal? I ain't telling him neither. Him and me ain't on speaking terms. Come on, drink up. I thought you and the marshal were on right good terms, Carson. I reckon so, too. I hear he's been cavorting around with your daughter. My daughter, eh? I'll show him. I'll run him out of town. You got a gun? I don't need a gun when I got these. Anyway, you better take this along for protection. Give me that gun, Carson. You're liable to hurt yourself. Leave me alone. I'm all right. I'm going skunk hunting. Wait a minute, Carson. Oh, now let him alone. He can't hurt nobody. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Oh, there you are. I'll show you how to get sweet on my daughter. You're letting a little whiskey do a lot of talking, Mr. Carson. Give me that gun. When he starts throwing letters to Marshal, I'm going to help him out. You're going to get what your father gave my brother. Now, just keep calm and everything... Shoot the gun out of his hand, Marshal. Hey, if they find out who done the shooting, we ain't got a chance to get out of here. Get the doctor at once. Oh, Go get the doctor. What? I was aiming at his gun. I couldn't have. Very bad shooting then. You got him right in the heart. The marshal just shot your dad, miss. My dad? Yeah, down in front of the saloon. All right, take him off to the doctor's office. If you'll listen, I can explain. I... I was standing here. Now, here's the saloon window, and Carson was there. Now, can't you see a bullet fired from this window would come along this line? But I ducked low to get a better bead on Carson's gun. And that must have been just as the other fellow fired. So the bullet missed me and hit Carson. Well, well what makes you say that? There doesn't seem to be any reason why anyone would want to kill Carson. But there's plenty why they'd want to plug me. Well, m m maybe you're right. I'd gamble on it. I've got to find out who was in that saloon. I don't want people going around thinking I did it. Come on, Joe, get going. It's express. Grab the express office. All right, men, get the horses.
I'll sneak off this way, and the rest of you lead him on a wild goose chase. Sure. Come on, boys. You fellows follow the shooting. I'm going up this trail. B -b 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 Get going! Drop that stuff on the table. Put that in your safe. Sure. You don't mean to tell me that's one of the bandits. Looks like it, doesn't it? Ever see him before? Yes, frequent. Him and his partner was around here a couple of three days ago. Could that be the day Mr. Carson was killed? Yeah. Fact of the matter is, him and his partner and Carson was drinking in the back room. What does the partner look like? Oh, I can't say exactly. They all look alike to me. What are you driving at, Marshal? We had nothing to do with killing Carson. We just pumped him some about that gold there. We left before he was shot. Funny you'd start denying something before you were accused. Let's take a walk over to the jail. Uh, take him to the jail. Get them all? Well, 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 I think I missed a couple of them, but, but we didn't find no gold on them. <laughs> well, don't worry. I've seen it to that. So there was nothing for me to do but get off my horse and sneak through the brush. Funny Tex isn't showing up with that gold. Took the shortcut up the ravine. Should have been here an hour ago. You didn't see this new marshal no place? No. It's kind of dark. But I'm pretty sure. He was likely taking care of Tex then. You don't suppose... I don't suppose anything. Only you're all a bunch of fools. Letting one marshal outsmart you. I suppose if I want this thing done, I've got to do it myself. What are you figuring on, Cap? I'm going to send this new marshal an invitation to pay me a personal visit. And all you've got to do is deliver it. He either killed Carson or knows who did it. But I haven't been able to make him talk yet. Now, if we could get a line on who the cat really is, we'd get someplace. Right. 
Likely as not, he's walking around right under our noses. Mm -hmm. do, do, do you re really think so? See that fella at the door? Keep an eye on him. See where he goes. wouldn't mind my giving you a little advice, would you? I'll listen to anybody that'll help me get to the bottom of things. You'll never get to the bottom unless you take better care of your health. <laughs> what are you talking about? I never felt better in my life. I'm talking about the chances you take with these outlaws. You've come out whole so far, but you haven't met the cat himself yet. Well, that's just what worries me, not getting a chance to. All I'm waiting for is for him to come out into the open. That isn't the way the cat does it. If you want to beat him, you've got to draw cards in his kind of a game. He never rattles before he strikes. So that's the way you keep your eye on them, is it? Come on, wake up. We've got work to do. Come on, start stuttering. Go outside and keep your eye open for him. He should be getting here by now. And as soon as you spot him, come back and let me know. Just turned up the canyon, Chief. Are you sure he was alone? All right. Hide your horse and wait outside the house. And when you get a chance, plug it.
Billy, you the cat? The doctor said I must keep you quiet. I'm sorry I wouldn't listen when you wanted to explain, dear. But everything's all right. Before he died, the cat told who really killed my father. The cat? Dead? Yes, dear. You can turn in your marshal's badge now. You got the cat. Yeah. I got the cat. <laughs> 